Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here I am with my first Harry Potter Throwback Thursday of which and expect some more after every other Throwback Thursday now. Uh, and we're starting off with the Sorting Hat and, Forty and Final Challenge from 2001. So with Sorting Hat of which, which the little picture of it, and also the set number 4701, making it first Harry Potter set ever. On the back, at the PCZ Ron game. And then, realistic picture of it in the final step. Oh, it's sort of the same deal. Same ad. And then, a pair of neat, kind of cute alternate builds. Fun looking one. And alternate shots of which. And the last step. And the first of which, first minifig, which is included in both of these sets, is the earlier Harry Potter minifig. And overall, he would be quite good for the time. Like, of course, have the lightsaber bar piece used for a wand, but kind of oversized for it. But of course, it's the best they had for the time, of course. And although not only like printing, and of course it's the regular legs, at least until 2018 when they introduced the mid legs or whatever. And of course, like a lot of these older ones, you have the starry capes. And as I hear over time, they get played with and get faded off and off. But this kind of which, even though it got used off Bricklink, it held up quite well, of course. And besides that, the face print of which uh, done quite good for the time. And also, all new hair piece used for first for the time, obviously. And front torso print also done good. But no back torso print or anything because it's an older figure, obviously. And next of which is Professor Quarrel, who of which stayed exclusive to this one for. Around 17 years of which. At least never did until Great Hall in 2018, of course, but have the older style turban piece from Adventurers and whatnot. Or that stuck around until Indiana Jones in 2008, of course. But besides that, it's not only leg print, but the torso print done quite good, and face print of which uh, done quite good. But whereas with this line of which First time of having the white pupil effect in the eyes rather than just simple dots kind of effect, which carried on to modern many things, of course. And not at all need back torso print. And also turn around, and there's, of course, Voldemort's face. But not at all, although it doesn't seem very accurate, but at least it's done quite well. So I guess he was the first with a double side face, which they did also carry to Zam Wessel in the 2002 Star Wars line, of course. Like, as compared to this newer version that came in the great 2018 Great Hall set, has similar torso prints of which, and of course has the newer style turban piece. And if you look at the back torso print, and of course, the newer one is, of course, more accurate because, you know, it's a newer age to me, figure. But not sure why it's like that, but I guess it's one thing, the best they have for the time, obviously. So, first of all, for the uh, sorting hat set. It's in which a kind of a small little facade. And also do, of course, get the newer or older style owl piece. But in this case, used for headwig, obviously. But done pretty well for a piece. But well. You have one of those corner pieces and, of course, a couple of cups there. And 
also a little a tile with a printed scroll on it but with some weird writing on it not sure what that's for but whatever and of course let's see do you get what is supposed to be the sorting hat but is actually the traditional wizard's witch's hat piece of which what's in of course unlike with the later 2018 version which of course did have a molded in face and there's also the version that had a face printed on but you know if this were around today i would expect it to have the newer hat piece but i can forgive this one and have a little spot there to fit your hairy minifigure or whatever me thing onto and just and of course just like wheel of fortune and whatnot which is kind of a popular game thing and can turn and select which house they're on of course kind of a fun feature and of course houses of gryffindor hufflepuff slytherin and ravenclaw of course and of course how colors of each one are opposite of each other obviously and also comment down below which hogwarts house are you in and anyways with this tile piece you kind of just sort in or stick into this moving around area of course and besides that nothing much else to it but you know. And now on to the final challenge one, which quite quite a petite or somewhat petite uh, corridor of it that, which, which is a common thing with these older sets, is that not only they come together a bit, but just but they just plop together, not like pinned in all like the newer ones do. But also you can stack them on others, which is what the jagged slopes are up for. If you remove this uh, canopy piece and stick enough one on top of it, which I'll do in a future video, of course. And for this canopy piece, which is in this sand green color, which is found in a lot of the other sets. And of course, it was like that. But at least until the when it was the dark gray versions in the newer range, of course, and just fits on there like so. And of course, you get the regular owl piece in black, of course, probably representing the opening scene of Sorcerer's Stone, obviously. And also, you get so in there is the traditional bat piece, of course. And as you do have the spiderweb piece, but engraved with a translucent spider on it, although which kind of blocks some of it. Uh, not sure if that's present in the scene, but but, but also a neat thing is with a lot of these earlier sets, do get these large bricks as bases, probably so they can connect good to the uh, stud or jacket slopes above, of course. But as for the mirror. Which, if I turn it, which shows just Harry and then also him holding the Sorcerer's Stone. But if I turn it around, and there's the a red a diamond piece, but of course used as the Sorcerer's Stone, of course. And of course, also in this set, do you get, although compared to this mirror piece, so that came in the uh, Great Hall set, since, of course, not lenticular, which this did, even though they barely ever do lenticular stuff anymore, but at least this one does have both James and Lily Potter included in it, of which, which is, of course, suiting to the scene, obviously, and, of course, did come with extra ones in that one. Also, of course, enough space to put both you both me picks onto it and let them battle it out like in the movie of course. Although it could have is probably uh, a few white studs representing when Harry turns into ashes of course. 
this video. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, and so uh, overall, these I think uh, quite good sets for the time. Like gave like the most important climax of Sorcerer's Stone of the Sorcerer's Stone in a small one, and also a kind of a good spin around game done in a, also in a small one, uh, picking which house is in obviously. And of course, although it was first time of attempting to do the sorting hat, obviously, until they did the later versions over time. Although, although I think the sorting hat set also could have had a couple others like Draco or whatever. And well, and if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say truly go ahead and pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video, and thanks for watching.